Hey, this is Scott from Online Income River, and today I'm going to show you how to change your YouTube channel background. So, this video is for non partners. If you're a YouTube partner, then you have a few more options, and we'll cover those options in a later video. So, for us non partners, there's still a lot of things we can do to customize our channel. So, what I did, and I'll show you how, is I took my basic YouTube channel background here and I changed it to this. So I've got an image down the side with a gradient and my YouTube channel name that runs right down the side. So I'll show you how I did this. So first thing you have to do is create an image in Photoshop or any other photo editing software. Um, so you want to create a large image. So mine's 2000 pixels by 1800 pixels. And the reason you want to do that is this middle section of our YouTube channel can't be edited. So what we're making the image for is this area outside of the YouTube channel. So there's a few things we know about the YouTube channel and that's the dimensions. We know that the, it's 970 pixels wide and it's 20 pixels from the top. One thing we don't know is how long our YouTube channel will be. This will change based on the number of videos we have displaying in our feed. So this one will always change and you need to keep that in mind with your design. So when you choose your image, you could have one large image, which is what I'll show you how I did, or you could have a smaller image that is tiled or cascaded across the background. Um, so basically the easiest way to get started is to make a big box in the middle because this is the area that we're unable to edit it, so we don't want any of the important aspects of our image to be inside this area. So out here in the checkered area, that's where our image will be. So this is 970 pixels by 1800 pixels. And again, this number is kind of arbitrary because that will always change. And it's centered on our page and it's 20 pixels down from the top. So the checkered border here is what we can edit and change. So I'm not going to run you through each step, but I'll show you what I came up with and what my final image looks like. So mine looks like this. I have my YouTube username down the side, which is also my website, and I have a nice gradient. With a gradient, it's important to remember, in my case, I don't want my image to repeat. So the bottom color of my gradient, I'm gonna set to the YouTube background. I'll show you that in a second. So we save this image, and then we head over to YouTube. So here we are at the home page in YouTube. You're gonna click on your name, and then my channel, and again, right now we have that basic theme, the one we start off with. So you're going to come up here on the left, click Channel Settings, and then we're in the Appearance tab, go down to Background. Again, you could just choose a basic color here. If you wanted to just change your background to a different color, and I will edit this color down here. In my case, I have a gradient, so I want the bottom color of my gradient to be the same color I choose for my background. So I chose that color here, click Accept, then I have to upload my image. So click choose a file, find the file we just created, click open, and then it will take a second to upload. Once it uploads, we have a few options. We can make it scrolling, so when people scroll down the page, the image will move with it, which is what I want for my image. Or you could do fix, so when they scroll up and down, the image doesn't move. You can also choose no repeat, which for my image, that's what I'll choose. You could repeat it horizontally, vertically, or both. Again, I don't want to repeat. Then you come up here to the top right and click Done Editing. Once that loads, it shows us our new background image. And as you see, as you scroll down, that image goes right down the whole side. And it shows a nice new gradient down the side. It's still simplistic, but it looks like I put some effort into my channel. So thanks for watching. Please take some time to comment, rate, and subscribe.